Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today let's watch a uh, Hong Kong Pet version 7.0 Hyper Launch. I just saw <laughs> I just saw my community uh sending out this uh the 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 the, the, the code, the reading code and I was like oh Oh my god, Hyperion launch is uh, this one. So let's watch it. I'm pretty excited uh, about Terry Terry. But um, yeah, uh, that's all I'm gonna say. But I also want to know what's the events and stuff. So yeah, let's see. Let's watch. I think it's 1080 already. And yeah, about the... This one. <coughs> about the... The, 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 the cliffhanger about Gracious, uh, this one. Oh my god, the music! Oh my god, the transition! I think they did the, 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 the transition to Terry. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, okay, I like this. Uh, this one. Oh my god, this Oh my god. Does this mean in some point one you'll get uh, <laughs> you'll get a grown up grace <sighs> I'm excited because I fully get my Grisio and she's one of my very first battle suits. So I'm very excited about it. So let's kick things off by introducing the new battle suit. Teresa's Lunar Bell Crimson Love is an S rank Psy type lightning damage dealer. Oh, Psy type lightning? Her basic attack cuts okay. non stop with her chainsaw, dealing lightning damage and inflicting bleed trauma. When casting her combo attack, she gains iron body and swings her huge chainsaw to slash enemies. To protect the one she loves, even an elegant vampire like her will show you just how brutal she can get when it's no holds barred. When the chainsaw has enough charge, she will enter a frenzy and dual wield chainsaws, slashing quicker and quicker. Finally, she will use her special attack in the name of protection to merge her dual chainsaws and gather. I feel like the combo the uh, mastery on Lunava will be very, very, very annoying. But I'm not away. exactly a fan then, of combo attacks. I mean, trying to hit the combo because my After fingers are just not not for that. Wow! After all this time. We're finally bringing Luna home! I bet plenty of captains are gonna want to play the main story after seeing her in it, huh? Luna's story has been under wraps for a good while, and while time may have changed her looks and attitude, she still has her same old fiery passion. Another habit of hers that hasn't seemed to change is her penchant for super powerful weaponry. After the version 7.0 update, We'll be releasing Lunar Vow Crimson Love's recommended weapon. Oh my god, that weapon though. <laughs> so great. Ooh, this <laughs> Why is Ken just ah, like that? So cute. A dreamy moment shared between Himiko, Cohen, and the past Luna. After the version 7.0 update. The first 10 drops for Lunar Vow Crimson Love's recommended equipment supplier. Oh. Now, uh, let's talk about the story. At the end of the last chapter, we saw that Fu Hua had found her old squad mate, Frizio. She had left Earth to carry out Project Dark, 
So what is she doing here? What's everyone's favorite Vita been up to lately? And why would Moriarty pop up here all of a sudden? What's with all this strange stuff going on? You'll find the answers and more in Story Chapter 41, Worldly Retribution. So stay tuned for those story updates, Captains. We're gonna stay on Grizio and Fuhua's Yeah, our chapter 40 makes me feel like... Why did you stop at that? It's such a huge cliffhanger. Oh. Activate Fuwa's support skills in battle, and she'll jump in using okay. her ultimate, dealing damage to enemies, inflicting weakness, and providing buffs to her teammates. Each of Fuwa's battle suits has huh, two styles of support skills. For example, oh yeah, talking Phoenix's about skills, chapter four, I haven't even styles. finished up the side explosion stories. I need to do it that later. Which weakness explosion on all enemies, deals ignite damage once broken, and inflicts ignite trauma. And last resort, Inferno style, which inflicts red weakness, converge on the enemy with the highest HP while generating a black hole that pulls enemies in and increases the damage dealt once broken. Make sure you select the right battle suit and style to make your fights a lot easier. When Fu Hua reaches level 30, she'll become stronger by unlocking her Awakened skill. After Azure Empyria unlocks the Awakened skill, casting her ultimate will generate a Taiji formation that boosts total damage. She'll also deal greater fire damage in United Heart mode as well when she casts her support skill. Captains can use any of Fu Hua's battle suits they've been using in the main story for battles in Strangeland Forest. In Strangeland Forest, you'll find challenges spread across several floors. Captains can come what? Each floor and oh my god, this is a lot of work though. Buffs, providing an extra boost to Fu Hua's combat abilities. This mode will feature red, gold, and blue varieties and plenty of different buffs. Captives can enjoy a smooth combat experience by taking advantage of all the different kinds of buffs. And don't forget to join in events and complete challenges to earn orange flavored candies, which can be exchanged for four star event stigma, May, class preparation middle, crystals, and that, 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 that stigma is so cute. <laughs> Some of these rewards will only be available for a limited time. So make sure to claim them while they're still available. Yeah, I need to also, clear the story quickly for the, the main story. this it's one first. Oh an my god. Type, and it doesn't have any counters against currently available types. But an SD type battle suit will still counter SD type enemies. SD type enemies can take both embodied and consolidated forms. While in embodied form, when its HP drops to a critical amount, it will enter consolidated form. Attacking the enemy in this form will reduce its max HP. After consolidated form's duration ends, mm -hmm. it will switch back to embodied form. But it's important to note, when an SD-type enemy receives a critical amount of damage and begins transforming, it will drop plenty of Stardust Remnants. Oh yeah, like yeah mana, just shit on me. Attack enemies, <laughs> depending on the amount of Stardust Remnants used, mm. you can deal increased damage to enemies' max HP. And remember, damage can be dealt to enemies in both forms. Oh, I get it. By collecting remnants while attacking, you'll steadily decrease the max HP of SD type enemies. Right! You'll find yourself naturally picking up remnants as you attack, and agility will increase as you make better use of your skills. For example, Cursor of Finality can trigger absolute time fracture to collect remnants before dealing damage. <laughs> These new combat mechanics add so many strategic aspects to consider. And with the newly added I hate enemies, this kind of stuff. Yes. Why? And now we're going to introduce version 7.0's new event, Captain's Ranch Tale. You and Luna will find yourself in a peaceful paradise where you can build your new home by doing things what? like farming, <laughs> excavating, fishing, and cultivation. Oh my god. Let's first look at farming. Honkai Harvest Moon, oh my god. This is so funny. As you become more prosperous, you'll be able to grow more crops. And with the oh my god, crops, stop messaging me. Crops. These rare crops go for plenty of money when sold. And if you're looking to enhance your farm or upgrade your tools, you can excavate the materials you need from the mines. The deeper you delve into yep, the this area, is definitely the like Harvest Moon. A story of seasons, whatever it is, you know. <laughs> Although this is more on, uh, how to say, yeah. just just the feel of us. No need to listen. You can buy animals from vendors 
Oh my crop. god, buy animals. Yup. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> make sure to hang out with your this is so <laughs> funny. Oh my god. I, I do like this play style, okay? Because I used to play uh, Harvest Moon a lot. But the thing is that I. How to say? I also dislike spending a lot of time because I'm big work. Wait, what? Oh, <gasps> charity uniform? Seriously? Oh my god. But I don't That's have right. a lot of, I mean, most Dudu's uh, battle suit I don't have. Like, oh, uh, I only have her, the, the one with the military outfit on. What is it called? What? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we've got loads of surprises in store for this version. And it seems like the Hersher of Sentience is bringing something fresh <laughs> to the table, too. The great Hersher of Sentience uses her authority to create a super divine key, which are her new gauntlets, Infinite Intimidator. Oh, my God. The special enhancement of should I, should I get her gear first be available for before pulling for her? <sighs> Join in the event to try out this new weapon and learn the story I don't know. It too. The design is in line with the Hersher of Sentience's signature style. It Charles break at you. What else do you want? In a nutshell, it amps up your character's critical damage and physical damage while in burst mode, and increases your critical rate too. When paired with the Hersher of Sentience, <laughs> Infinite Intimidator can oh unleash its full potential. It smashes enemies to deal physical damage over a large area, restore bonus SP, render enemies unconscious, and inflict stun trauma. In Hersher mode, the Hersher of Sentience attacks with a sword, a spear, and two chain blades. When using her special attack in Hersher mode, a huge weapon will fall from the sky. When she kicks the weapon away, <laughs> it triggers other different weapons to pop out and inflict physical damage, knock enemies unconscious, and inflict stun trauma. <laughs> Why that face? Oh my god! <laughs> that face! Oh no, that was so cute! The new divine key and stigma Pericles will also be available during the event supply. You won't want to miss those captains. <coughs> we're gonna go over the version bonuses, something I know everyone's been eagerly waiting for. Yes, please. Link the event to get focus supply cards and S rank battle suit option. Open it to choose from either a Dia and Cora or okay. character card, rank up stamp, or ancient willpower. Wait, what? days and score 10 focus supply cards and 10 expansion supply cards. Log in days and get S1 character card? Really? Open these gift boxes for materials and battle suit fragments. Plus, version 7.0 spend bonuses event will also be available during the event. Wait, what? Drops and exchange crystals for Palatinus Equinox character card either Platinus Equinox, Miracle Magic Girl, or Silverwing NEX rank up stamp, and more. And spend 30,000 crystals in supply events to claim Silverwing <laughs> when, NEX's when, new when outfit. When you don't have Silverwing. <laughs> but you wanted the and outfit. On top of everything else today, <laughs> okay, the surprise you what the reading called Crimson Love for After everyone. Transcending finality, Honkai Impact Third Part 2 story will be taking place off of Earth and on Mars, the Red Planet. As the story unfolds, we'll step into an entirely new sandbox world, joined by plenty of new in-game companions, and filled with the unique history of Martian civilization among the different bubble universes. Now, let's get a glimpse of what these new areas oh, are. Oh, nice! Oxia City, a city that's teeming with life. At the story's outset, our adventure will kick off right inside the city's skyscraper, the Antares Building. The city's vibe is a close match to the modern metropolises we're all familiar with. Vibrant, technologically advanced, and culturally diverse. Even historical landmarks like the Anchor of the Apocalypse seamlessly blend into the contemporary surroundings with its unique architectural design. As the narrative gradually unfolds, we'll unexpectedly come across another distinctive world bubble apart from Oxia Longchia. It radiates a haunting, rundown atmosphere Suggesting a place once ravaged by formidable forces. It exudes an old school vibe. 
filled with various elements reminiscent of classical science fiction and even features some designs with a touch of steampunk style. Right, yeah, it has that this one. Steampunk. We can't wait steampunk to see Captain like. exploring these areas in the future, diving into a whole new story and getting to know a whole new world. It looks like what we've shown you today only scratches the surface. There are tons of other cool places waiting to be checked out. But hey, after all this talk, how about we introduce you to those new companions we mentioned earlier? In part Ayo. two, captains can take on the role of a support character referred to as the dream seeker by their companions and embark mm -hmm. on adventures with a whole host of newfound friends. Dream seeker is an Wait, why is there like a city, male one and then the female one? Is this the MC? One fateful day. The dream seeker accidentally crosses paths with a seemingly divine figure, setting the stage for a long and adventurous journey alongside no, the right. By default, the dream seeker is presented as female. Wait, what? The will have the to <gasps> oh, female this is the MC. After completing okay. the story's prologue, you'll have the freedom to switch between these appearances at the dream seeker's home. Wait, why we can switch at a time? Oh my god. Style, we've never limited the protagonist to just one character. But I prefer the female though, so even though this will be the first time ever that having a, a day we will have a it sounds like part two's protagonist nah, it's not. more like a united team. And as with any team of adventurers, there's always someone in the group that's there to brighten everyone's day, right? Without a doubt. And in this group, that character is Sinadina. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> <laughs> she like looks like a science fiction meme, kind of, you know, with the red hair and red long hair. But uh, yeah, that 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 was what reminded me of, like, on the first on the first glance. All right. Next up, let's meet one of the more interesting members of the team. In the trailer, Coralie made her debut appearing as an astronaut at a spaceship's home. She's part of Earth's exploration team to Mars and previously served as a member of anti Oh, wait, what? At first glance, she might seem a bit reserved with a hint of dark humor when she does talk. But once you get to know her, you'll find out she's actually pretty chatty. In some ways, she resembles her teacher, Einstein. Wait, Even what? <laughs> Einstein student? Oh my god. Always come for oh your my team god, this is going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Helia, an active a -rank Valkyrie of Shixel. As a leader, she's a highly skilled warrior. However, just like her idol Durandal, she's got some charming perks outside her work life. To let you win on a little secret, Song Chien will be the first major character the Dream Seeker and the group meet in Longchio. But we can't oh. reveal too much about her story just yet. Ah, okay. All, oh my god, this is so cute. The new game in part two Why do I make it? Oh my bunch. god. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this entirely new story uh, comes out. All those people and places we've just shown you, what kind of story will they be? That's something you'll just have to explore to find out. And that about wraps up the new content in this version update. Captain's looking to score the new battle suit and play part two won't want to miss out on upcoming updates. As we keep on updating part 1.5, we're also charging ahead into part two. All set to bring you a brand new experience that we're yeah, very I'm so excited, excited about. already. I mean, pretty much we'll get part Hawkeye 2 on about Chinese New Year, right? Part two. On the official launch day, the traditional Chinese, Korean, SK, yes, yes. Japanese, and global servers will celebrate a new anniversary together. Part 2 marks a fresh start with plenty of rewards. Starting from 2024 onward, rather than celebrate the oh, anniversary nice. Second, the regional nice. Will be celebrating yeah, December because I remember spring. some rewards are different in different servers. Each fall. And rewards will be consistent with previous years. Our development team is so grateful for the ongoing support of our captains and hope to continue this journey with you all for New Horizon. Oh my god, I'm excited for part two. Captains. See you next time. Goodbye. Ah, 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 is that it? Is that it? Okay. Oh my god. Uh, wait. Sorry. Okay, uh, what what should I say? I, I don't know what to say because first of all, I'm excited, okay? Because, we get <laughs> okay, we get new, uh, uh, we get a uh, one, one, one free S rank, which is either Shusheng or, 
uh, uh, I think it's Dia in Korea. I forgot. Yeah, I I'm pretty excited. And then we got the um, wait Dia. Oh my god! I need to quickly build the more the more of the this one. Oh my god! Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> I need to build more statements. Okay, uh, and then what else? Mm, we got a lot of rewards. We got you know, chapter, story chapter, which I'm very excited about. Okay, we got Harvest Moon like uh, event, okay, which is funny, okay. And then um, we got the new divine weapon, divine key weapon of uh, Santi, alright, which is. Nice, but I don't have Santi until today, which is very sad, you know. But I'm still happy, okay. <laughs> Hopefully, I get something nice that you know, build up on my gears and stuff. Well, I feel like lately I was like, I'm getting gears first, getting gears first. No gear, no, no getting the characters. Characters, yeah. But anyway, very excited. Yeah, very excited for part 2 as well. So, okay, I think that's about it. And uh, thank you everyone for watching until the end with me. Bye-bye.